Hello guys, today I want to show you code example from our own Laravel Daily Com from one of the refactorings. When we introduced team plans in Laravel Daily membership, we needed to refactor some user logic. And my colleague David added this pull request with some changes from our team and I wanted to show you the part of refactoring into policies. So how policies could be useful instead of having functions like this one. So when we launched Laravel Daily Com, it was a pretty quick launch for version one. For some features, we just launched without too much thinking. So it was as straightforward as this one. So in the lesson model, can lesson be completed by current user? Can it be downloaded and can it be seen? So those functions inside they had the logic of auth check and is free lesson and is course bought by current student is the subscription active and also if the lesson has video. So these were inside of the model. And then we call those functions elsewhere, for example, like this. So if the lesson cannot be seen, then we show locked lesson. Also similarly for posts, so post can be seen, here post can be seen. So those functions were reused in controllers and in the blade. But the separation of concern says that permissions should be not in the model. And policy is one of the best ways to separate that logic into what is supposed to be about permissions and roles policies. So we change that to instead of post can be seen and lesson can be seen to something like this. So as a result, the code of using those checks is shorter is just can instead of if longer feature. And in some cases, it led to refactoring and deleting the full block of if statement in favor of policy. And the policy itself looks like this. So lesson policy, complete, download and view. So if I'm using that code as a user, as a future developer or myself in the future, I read can complete lesson, can download lesson, can view lesson in the blade or elsewhere. And what's under the hood, team subscription, video or not, this is inside of the policy not inside of the model anymore. Another example in the courses show if lesson can be completed is replaced with can complete lesson, which is more readable, I guess. Another example in the lessons list, if the lesson can be completed here and here in both places, we change that to can. And why am I showing you this? What is the main message? It seems like a small change to save like, I don't know, 10 lines of code, 10 symbols of code, I mean in each line, but this is more like an example of when your permissions get more complicated, like in our case, we introduced the team plans for team subscriptions. It's better to refactor them in its own layer instead of adding more checks in the model. And I'm a big fan of such approach in general in projects. So the first version can be launched without too much thinking with straightforward code wherever you feel like it. And then when it gets complicated, you need to spend time on refactoring, introducing maybe more layers, services, policies, or whatever is the layer. So if some bug appears in the permissions, then the policies would be the first thing that developer would check, not the model, not scrolling through model through 100 lines of code. Again, maybe this code, maybe this example is not that powerful, but with our own small example, I wanted to talk about the message of don't forget to spend some time on refactoring the old code while introducing new features. What do you think about this approach? Have you used policies? Maybe you've done something similar in your projects. Share your experience in the comments below and see you guys in other videos.